I guess uh, keep it live in case uh, Joe comes in. What's up, doggles? Welcome back to another monumental, hopefully, because it's a big deal, because Scaramouche is blue now. Welcome to another Genshin livestream reaction, version 3.3, the patch where we know the most important update is coming. We, we get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's a shame I won't be able to play that shit. Yes, my buddy Insert here is here. Uh, going on a little vacation. It's called All Senses Clear, All Existence Void. What I find interesting is that we're going back to more Inazuma stuff, even though the three-point patches are largely directed towards Sumeru. Hey, hey, and we don't get Lumine a lot in live streams, so, you know, I take that as a win. And this is probably the most a cherry will ever see Skarmouche. Ooh, hold on. I wanna see. Ooh! Oh! Ah! The Hito technically becomes like Skarmouche's auntie. Please explain how he gets new drip. Don't tell me it's gonna be some like fucking uh, those type of Sailor Moon type shit where like you roll around and then they... It's all sparkly, Imagine. and then- <laughs> No, Imagine. please! Okay, the background looks like that's the inside of the boss fight. Or it's a domain, it's a interior. Domain. I heard he can fly, so... I'm either going to be blown away by his kit, or I'm gonna be blown away by his kit. Oh, uh, shit! Well, there we go. Fuck, I got an ad. And man, I've already ads. figured out oh. all the plans ooh, for the ooh, event. Ooh, ooh. Let's go, let's, let's go. The 3.3 trailer! Oh, the trailer! Oh! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm so ready, bro. Come on. Come on. Show me the juice. Huh? Yeah, we are back in Inazuma. A friendly this word of advice. The Chunji Forest. Tests of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. Who speak? So wait. please, be wait, sure wait, wait, to wait. exercise caution. This is Ayato. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Were you scared? <laughs> Guys, October's over. What? So, is there really a ghost around here? Oh, I this time I have a feeling that it's staring right at us. So we are, yeah, we are going back to in a room. Uh, it's a, it's October. Uh, October. Uh, oh, Jester, Whoa. I have completed the task you gave me. From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Kabuki Mono. Did you really think you would be Wait, able to what? see through my plan? Wait, is that an Ermin Soul? Another Ermin Soul tree. <laughs> the Tore. Oh. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, his theme! Holy oh, shit! Upon me? Oh fuck, and he steps on the enemy? What? <laughs> Holy shit, he summons a black hole. Oh, Hase oh. Miku, baby! Hase Miku! <laughs> Her theme as well. She's a bow user? Really? She's a bow. Again? Okay. The mere fact of your utility does not Again? make you indestructible. I thought we destroyed that thing. Looks like Scaramouche permanently went rogue against uh, the Fatui. If my man deserves a well, de a good redemption arc, I'm all for it. Well, shit, looks like we're getting it one uh, Herbiger that's gonna die yeah. in the next patch, I guess. I don't think we're gonna kill off the Tori that easily. You're right about the Harbinger dying, though. Scaramouche is gonna die. This guy is going to be taking his place. I mean his identity. Hey everyone, and hey. welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.3 <laughs> special program. I'm your host, Sarah it's Miller so Cruz, weird. the voice of Lumine and Scaramouche Genshin Impact. Is here. And today, I'm joined by... Max, the one and yeah. only Middleman, and voice of and the one and only Arataki Eats. And... And I'm Patrick Pedraza, oh, voice shit. of the Wanderer. But up until now, travelers have only known me as Scaramouche, and everyone's yes. been battling me in the game lately. Yes. Yeah, that's true. But to be fair, it's a really cool fight. It's a really cool fight. <laughs> yeah. A little I know. bit too easy. Anyway, 
I'm super Might excited add. to have the chance to share some upcoming content with everyone. What did you all think about that trailer? Okay, so I Very definitely in saw Ermensel in there, and I am really excited to find out more about it. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah. If you're interested, then be sure to play through the Archon Quest interlude oh. chapter in version of Genesis. There is so it's much to interlude. learn in this quest, so I hope everyone checks it out. Oh come uh, on, man! You can't just leave everyone hanging like that. How about some hints? Wait. Come on, please, <laughs> please. Bro. All right, all right. How can yeah. I say no to a cute Chibiito? You can't. Here's a little preview from the quest. Oh yeah. Oh. Whoa. We ran into two people at the academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. From what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatarasuna's Tatara. history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling Wait, the gaps with their that, imagination. That's where Orobashi died, no? Like. The snake guy. The snake uh, that's, They guessed right I think, about talking, one I think they're talking about me. Tatarasuna was the one sabotaged. Is or something. Oh. Nahida will task the Traveler and Paimon with keeping an eye on Skarmush while we go with right. him into Ermensol in search of some information. Oh, interesting. Uh, so obviously Nahida uh, must have some reason for deciding to keep Skarmush around. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. And I'm liking Skarmush's new style. Ooh, Same. dude's looking sharp. <laughs> Heck yeah, always. No, <laughs> right. <laughs> and at this point, he's known by a completely different name, the Wanderer. So I'm guessing yeah, if they're going sure. to an urn soul, that whole scene with Animal Scara instead in, in front of his I mean, old mech might just be like a memory. So a wayfaring figure whose I'm identity sure is a mystery. He dresses like a mountain ascetic. Let's have a look at the wanderer in common. But he certainly does not act the part. Oh. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy oh, silence. Finally. The wind rises. Yo. Bow your head. Windblade. An animal black hole. Holy shit. The Wanderer is a catalyst user and has an animal vision, uh. so he uses wind blades to perform wind range blade. normal attacks. Wait wind blade. Second. Wind blades. Not Yuba, the same as the traveler's wind blade. Uh, okay. 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 So as All everyone right. probably already noticed, the Wanderer what? can hover in the air when he casts his elemental skill. Upon using his elemental skill, he will first deal AOE damage before That's leaping into the air by he flies. and entering a hovering state. So while hovering, the Wanderer's normal and charge attacks will be converted into Kugo, Fushudan, and wow. Kugu Tofukai, respectively. The damage they no deal in their saying, AOE but... will be increased. Their damage Bro, will be considered what? normal and also Kugu Tofukai will not consume stamina. And he can remain hovering for a certain duration. Mm, that's so Dude, awesome. what? <laughs> I know, I know, right? Bro, but he definitely can't stay hovering forever. Okay. While hovering, yeah, the no water right? constantly consumes Kugurioku points to maintain oh. his hovering state. Oh, he has a custom you see on the screen. Wow. Even if he oh. doesn't, Please there are explain. many possible actions the wanderer can perform while hovering in the air, which all rely on Kugurioku points but. rather than stamina. So, for example, it does recharge over time, sprinting right? mid-air will consume additional Kugoryoku points to accelerate Sprinting mid in mid-air. And holding the sprint button will cause persistent point consumption to maintain speed. Oh. So, this effect will replace his default what? sprint. Jumping expends extra Kugoryoku points to increase hovering height. Holding you jump can't... will cause persistent Kugoryoku point consumption to keep what? increasing hovering height. Of course, that's running out so of points fucking will end cool. His hover you can go higher, you can hover. fly faster. Exactly. When casting his elemental skill, if it contacts hydro, pyro, cryo, uh, or electro, oh. Oh, that yeah. instance of the skill will receive a corresponding buff effect depending on which element oh. was contacted. Oh. Uh, so, for example, increasing his Kugoryoku points cap, attack, crit rate, or restoring a set amount of energy upon hitting opponents with a normal or charged attack. The Wanderer can have up to two different kinds of these buffs simultaneously. We're getting Honkai references now. Well. Remember how Kira can stay in the air for quite a long time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like That's kind of mimicking his <laughs> yeah, mother. Sure. 
And if you've noticed, the ring. There's like mother, like All son. Right. This brings us to the Wanderer's Dude, elemental burst. He kicks a he kicks a black hole animal new. He the atmosphere and stomps it down toward the enemy. <laughs> so he come, travelers wow. should note that if the that Wanderer is, is in a hovering sick. state when he unleashes his burst, then the hovering state will end and he will begin ah. descending after the burst is completed. Oh. This is an interesting one. Oh. The Wanderer can decrease the mora required when ascending bows and catalysts. Damn, Just like his mother. Dang, okay, you know what? I get it. <laughs> of course, it's tailor made. What did you oh. say? Uh, right. I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan. Uh, I'll see if I can pick that up. Right, the century old uh, <laughs> Madam Farozan. <laughs> or actually, Hatsune Miku. Sorry. <sighs> what is it that you would like to learn more about? Different forms of pressure-based puzzle mechanisms, the base layer design of elemental monuments. Huh. The fucking Wait. what now? Did you forget to call me Madam Farozan oh. just oh. now when you asked your question? Whoop. Whoa! What? What? There's nothing wrong with being afraid of thunder, even at an older age. Oh, oh my she gosh. sounds sassy. Yeah, and, and smart too. <laughs> A researcher from 100 so years awesome. ago. He's fine. With quotes. She enjoys self-identifying as everyone's senior and has significant knowledge of ancient scripts and machines of all kinds. Actually, now that I think about it, Yokai can also live a really long time too. Mm. That's right. Yeah, no, and speaking of age, isn't the traveler's age also kind of mysterious? Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. true. It looks like all of our characters are intriguing. About a mm -hmm. hundred years ago, Faruzan was an undisputed genius. Traveling right? all around Sumeru and solving many puzzles and mysteries. Uh -huh. The notes she left behind eventually became the basis of mechanical research for later generations. Oh, whoa, she sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, but Einstein. later, she accidentally stumbled into some ruins while trying to solve a puzzle. There, she encountered some strange phenomenon which stopped her from aging and was trapped there for nearly a hundred years. Ooh. She eventually solved the puzzle and was able what? to finally return to Sumeru. Hmm. Can you imagine being trapped in a puzzle for 100 years? I'm, you know, Wait, I'm surprised so she didn't go insane during that period of time. Hairball. It's just that after being separated from the world for so long, she's kind of fallen behind the times now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I get what you mean. She missed an she entire was, lifetime worth of development. A, a bow user. Uh, years have passed, yet there hasn't been any change to those dumb rules at the academia. With his gift. That looks awfully like the pyramid enemies. After using her skill, her next aimed shot will become a special attack that creates a vortex, pulling nearby objects and opponents oh, in. Yeah. Oh, nice. So she can clump enemies together. And there's That's also the, another uh, thing about her special you. charged attack. Hmm. It will create a vortex effect at its point of impact. And if the attack hits oh. an enemy or ally member, It'll apply a mark and create a vortex after a short delay. In her elemental burst, she deploys a dazzling polyhedron and releases a whirlwind pulse. Throughout its duration, the dazzling polyhedron will continuously move along a triangular path. Once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash one more whirlwind pulse. Yeah, one minute she's here, the next she's poly gone for a hundred years. Bada boom! You told please. When a team member uses normal charged or plunging attacks, mm -hmm. elemental skills, or elemental bursts to deal animo damage to an enemy, the damage will increase based on Farazan's base mm -hmm. This effect can only be showing her a lot with Scaramouche. Farazan oh. has taken it upon herself to explore many ruins, with her travels taking her all across Sumeru. Oh, her so is this a bonus? Oh, and it's a she bonus. gains more rewards when dispatched on a Sumeru it's a expedition for 20 one. hours. I'm sure no other mentor in Haravatat has Good. 100 years of I need more of that. In the early part of version 3.3, the Wanderer and Arata Kiito will be available Ooh. via their own event wishes. Wait. Farazan will also be making her debut Oh, they slightly the changed his gacha art a bit. In the later part of version 3.3, we'll be seeing ah. rerun event wishes for both the right. I mean, I'm not rolling for her, but she still looks... And last but not least, just as the new five star catalyst well, Tulas Remembrance have, will be appearing in the new Tula's Remembrance. And that's not all. In it's version a bell. 3 .3, two brand new artifact series will become available. So oh. travelers should be sure to check out the corresponding domain. Woo! 
Increase EM. Yeah. Another okay. one. We've already talked about a ton of new oh, content, ooh. so why don't we Whoa. take a quick hey, look? That, that four piece, yeah, yeah that four piece, yeah. Sounds that good. four piece can be good Roll for you. Out. Welcome back to the version 3.3 special right, program. Mm -hmm. Okay, Patrick, mm -hmm. what do we have next? So next, we'll be covering <laughs> the upcoming <laughs> events for That's the new That's a fucking version. yokai. That's right. We've already mentioned the test of it's, current it's event, and bro, I'm sure plenty of you are wondering about that. So let's start there. The wait, oh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. I ah. can already see a dark aura surrounding that the test two of, of courage. You. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is guys, Mihoyo, it's not October. This will swallow you up. <laughs> oh, how not you? How not you? <laughs> Some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel like you're going to be or is it you someone else? Draw from the event at any time. Oh. This is your oh. last chance. Oh. I'll count That's it down. Cool NPC. Three. One. Look at Welcome that. to the test of courage. Enter at your own Can I bring Raiden along? The ever well informed Paimon has caught wind of an exciting new event hosted by the Nyashio Commission yeah, called I mean, the Test of Courage. Experience new amusements and win some sure rewards before it's too late. The Tokabu Shibune. Oh, that's we'll such a cool a sword. What the pets. fuck? Basically, travelers will have oh. to control a bouncing bar oh. to bounce a ball and oh. use skill ball Wait, this is the to break as many bricks as possible. This is the Okay, I'm liking this one. Bruh. Seems pretty straightforward. During the game, they're really trying to stuff to every single kind of game in here. Effectively. <laughs> nice. It even has elemental reactions. Yeah, we can control Bro, the character to move. What? The when the character what the we're fuck using is either pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro, the <laughs> so corresponding goofy, element bro. will be applied to the bar. By switching characters, you can change the element of the bar. What? what? This Besides is so triggering Y'all have this coming mental, and TCG? Dude, Mihoyo, you guys are so weird and I love it. We have a race event called Across the Wilderness. Your objective, Come again. collecting balloons. Ooh. I don't oh, know. We're, Seems like the wanderer's abilities might come in real handy. We're trampling here. over Mondstadt's okay, no, right? rooftops so, for like the billionth event, time. Way to raise the repair costs, guys. I can literally abuse this as Scar. Now show me TCG invocation. Favorite game of hide and seek is back ah. with the wind trace event. And of course, this Again? is going to be another co-op event. Wow. And I, for one, am... Uh, many of you might already be familiar with this event by now. But yes. there have been a few changes. Oh. Let me introduce what travelers can expect to see this time around. Okay. This time around, once you're caught, oh. you'll still be able to participate in the match, even in observer mode. Oh. Ooh. Wait, couldn't we yeah, do this last cool. time? Once you're in observer mode, you it can't is. be seen by other players. We could? will receive the illusory yeah. beacon yeah. oh. skill. Why are this they saying it like it's a new thing? allow you to place a random beacon to oh. confuse the hunter. Bruh. If your beacon successfully tricks the hunter and is destroyed, then the hunter will suffer an obscured vision effect. Bruh. So even after you've been captured, oh, you shit. can be like a little ghost trying to help your teammates by wow. tracking the hunter. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Then the hunter will have their vision obscured for a short time. Hmm. Sounds pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so don't remind me of this map. I got pissed just thinking about it. Game. Where's the blue blocks? Where's the blue blocks? Where's the blue? What? Where's the goddamn box? Gang, where the hell are you? Where's the box? What the fuck? Oh my god! Where's the blue box? What the what, 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 what. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> Seriously. In a forbidden place warded by dust and sand, oh, oh, mysterious wait. foes have assembled lines of Misty Dungeon to stop your coming. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> Oh, That's oh right. wait, no. A new edition of Misty Dungeon will arrive. I thought it was that other dungeon event. In addition to the new version's limited time Let's event, go. version 3.3 will also be adding a new permanent yeah. game mode called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! You literally said fuck Hookie for my sister. <laughs> I'm playing card games. Visual, you have activated my trap card. During our journey into that, we've stumbled across several NPCs talking about a game called Genius Invocation TCG. So next. We'll introduce this card game that's been taking to bat by Sino as well. In the version 3.1 special program, we already stacks. revealed that Genius Invocation TCG will be a card game where we can challenge various characters Hell and NPCs yeah. or battle against your friends. But 
there is actually a legend behind this game. Fucking what? It is said that a oh, young guy in Sumeru war. found an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opened it and discovered that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King had been captured in. Wait, is this a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like this is a reference to something that, the that they're parodying. King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the castle. Blue Dragon! <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what? After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks to Dude. becoming a legendary TCG player. Dude. <laughs> nice. What? Hang on, is it just me or does that kind of sound like the plot to a light novel or something? <laughs> D yeah, right. this. <laughs> it turns out that Yai Publishing House oh. is about to release a hit light novel series based on Genius Invocation TCG. Shit, can okay, I read that? Now this is starting to sound like a plug for Yai Publishing House. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway, that's the Stonks. legend on how Genius Invocation yeah, TCG like... came to be. Though, it's probably just a story they came up with for marketing the game. So, while you were telling us about the story, I was over here researching the rules to the game. Basically, Genius Invocation TCG is a game where you use a constructed deck of cards oh. to duel against an oh. opponent. The objective... Okay. Also, there are many features and mechanics Yo, in the game that resonate oh. with Genshin Impact's gameplay, Yo. so it shouldn't be too hard for players to get the hang of. Right? I even saw some hey, elemental that's, reactions that's in fucking, the gameplay. That's fucking Hydro Gutter. Yep, a hey, construction deck <laughs> must contain character well, cards. I guess I know what I'm and killing as you tonight. might expect, these uh, character this, cards have a normal attack, this looks like a uh, skill, and an elemental burst. <sighs> So when a character card deals yeah, elemental damage so. to an enemy, it will cause them to be affected by that element. Then, you can switch to a character Ooh. card of a different element and use their abilities to trigger an elemental reaction. Wait, did you guys notice that there are even monster character cards? Can we even make a deck of, like, just the monsters from the game? <laughs> You're really getting Looks into like this, it. Max. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I like oh, card shit. games. Who doesn't? <laughs> so, in Genius Invocation TCG, all wow. actions require you to spend elemental dice. Each round, both you and your opponent will roll eight elemental dice. Each of these elemental dice can have any one of eight elemental attributes. What? Hold on, but there's only seven elements in the world. Oh, the, the, the table right. changes so too. So, in addition to the seven standard elements, there's also one called the Omni Element. The elemental dice oh. required for a character card to perform oh. an action corresponding to wait, wait, the wait, 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 element. Wait, 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 so, wait. for example, a pyro the omni elements? like Luke needs either pyro or Hold on. elemental dice to perform an action. What are you hinting at me, Hoyo? Yep, crystal clear. Also, elemental dice can be used to switch characters or play a variety of other cards. No, that's such that's as not cards, just there as a placeholder. All these cards create the potential for a variety of strategies. I right. see you, While Mihoyo. While playing Genius Invocation TCG, I'm travelers can earn player experience, which will increase your <laughs> Oh, I thought I was, we were going to battle the <laughs> You'll be able to challenge more it's characters and duel. enemies. It's time to do with, no. with the Mio. <laughs> you may earn lucky coins, new cards, or other rewards. Lucky and coins can be exchanged in the event shop oh, for cards, what? or can even unlock dynamic Dude. skins for certain cards. Dynamic skins? Th those are cards that have moving illustrations, right? That's right! All character cards oh. can unlock a dynamic skin. Oh. After unlocking that, there'll even be a cool bonus animation We need to spend that to make them look cool. cool. Fuck. And if you're confident in your TCG Fine. skills, you can also invite a friend to duel. After reaching a high enough player level, You'll even unlock a matchmaking mode. Dude. So be sure to give it a try. <laughs> travelers should note this that playing so against cool. your friends or other travelers won't count towards any leaderboard okay. or providing yeah, you know what? That's that's fine then. So that's fair. So you can relax. It's all just for fun. <sighs> I'd rather go bully some kid <laughs> okay, with my OP that's deck instead of a. Everything we have for Genius Invocation TCG, and that brings us to the end of today's special program. Oh. So what did you think? Why do I is it have to be over? There's so much that this version has to offer. Yeah, I can't even take it all in right now. I'm just super stoked to be part of this. Talk about a lot. This was so fun. I'm really glad that we got to do the special program together. I'm so happy I got to come back for another special program. This is my third time being on one of these, and I can't wait for number four. I'm counting. I'm so happy. This is my first one, so thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Yay! Um, doesn't it feel good? Yes. Doesn't I'm, it feel good to feel to special? Do you like, feel special? 
I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the end of our special. Wow, that game. was so not jam packed at all. I hope everyone all. enjoyed it, Jesus. and we'll see you in game. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. See you later. All right, let's do a little trailer analysis. Thanks to the guy who uploaded this trailer already, Max Level. <laughs> Right, so this is a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. This is so that please, part was sure more focused on the events. Are you talking to me? I think they released Rumi Island around this time back too. Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. From this day forth. Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Kabuki Mono. Has he ever referred to himself as Kabuki Mono? It's only been Kunikuzushi, the eccentric wanderer, and the Scaramouche. This is a different variant of an Ermine Soul Tree. Clearly not the one that controls the entire world. But it looks just as important, weirdly. Because you see all these like spiraling like wires and veins. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that was okay. The guy before that, that looked like the blacksmith. This is a guy from Fontaine, the Aminoma Kaguichi, a civilian, and his mother. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Dude, the amount of Techno in his theme. You dare to gaze upon me? Scared enough with me. Violent, right? Yeah, I, th I think this is him accessing a memory. Since Scaramouche technically failed his mission, it seems like the Tori is trying to remove him as, as a source of precaution to protect their mission, the Sarita's mission. They said they were at, they were, Nahida sent us out on a mission based off of. Information is written in essays by some scholars. Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Jester! Oh, I didn't realize what he was. Jester! Piero sent him on his mission. Dittore. Like, listen to me here. He sounds so maniacal. <laughs> Dittore! I'm expecting his like burst is gonna be some like giga nuke ability like like Raiden, uh, like mother like son for the billionth time. He is summoning a black hole and kicking it into his enemy. L look at that face. Uh, when he says, um, "From this day forth, Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist." When he says this. Here's what I'm guessing. There might be another memory wipe event on a wide scale, to which that Scar Scaramouche as an identity will be forgotten. He will forget himself. I th maybe, maybe, to, to like kind of start anew. He'll forget himself. Everyone will forget the Scaramouche character, and he'll start his journey again as the Wanderer. But of course, if that happens, we will still know who he was before, because, you know, what, what happened with Ruka Devata. We still remember Ruka Devata, because we're not from this world, so the Leyline flow doesn't exactly affect us. What if he only makes himself forget, and then the Tore shows him his memories again? Because that that's what the flashback feels like. He resets himself with the intention of him starting out as a good guy again, but then the Tore shows him all the memories of his deeds as the Scar Scaramouche, as the Harbinger. And then he's like this ident ex existential crisis. But maybe we've we've helped him enough 
like Nahida and us have helped him enough that he sees what is truly right. The Archon Quest interlude is essentially his own redemption arc. I definitely feel like this is him accessing a memory. I don't believe they would still stash around a mech like that. When this mech was g was on the verge of destroying Sumeru, yeah, it doesn't even look damaged, so makes no sense. I feel like just like how we access memories to battle the weekly bosses again. As always, I'm excited. I'm excited for this update to come in less than two weeks. A lot to do, a lot, a lot to complete, and it seems like there's gonna be even more heavy lore for us to digest. And I'm just as excited for the Halloween event that sets in December. Is our December there October? They kind of released Rumi Island around this time last year too, I think. So that's a that's a weird trend. You're two months late, and Wind Trace is also back. Yeah, that's you know that's there. And then there's the little racing game. There's the Misty Dungeon. Oh, very cool. I especially like how they change out the scenery for Misty Dungeon to make it like the interior of pyramids in the the, the desert. Especially TCG inv invocation TCG, dude. Permanent game mode. Hoping we can gain some, uh, you know, some good rewards from that too. By the way, I don't know how many NPCs we can battle. If every NPC gave out like a reward, a primo reward, for battling them, bro, I'ma be scavenging out across all of Tevat to scoop up that primo gems day one, bro. Everyone's about to get bodied. Oh, okay, maybe not day one because my cards will be very shite this was a lot uh thank you guys for watching i can't wait to react to scaramouche's trailer soon in a week next week and drip marketing next next week everything's going so fast i'm not sure i'm ready i'm definitely ready for scaramouche though thank you guys for watching let me know what you thought about all this i am so excited to play Scaramouche. I'm definitely pulling for him. I might even get one of his constellations because his cons look good. And I don't mind getting another nuke character. And I've, ne I've never gotten an animal DPS unit too. So the hey, this is going to be new for me too. But anyways, thank you guys for watching my reaction. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know what you thought about thought about the live stream down in the comments if you're gonna pull for Scaramouche or for Ruzan. Well they're both on the same banner, but you know, we are more interested in. And as always, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm so ready to play Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't even know.